What's going on everybody? It's October 2nd and I'm recording this after I already hit the gym, but I'm gonna put it before the gym, so let's get the video started. All right, so we are inside of the gym. Obviously, because if we were anywhere else, this would be kind of weird. So we have a push workout today, mainly hitting some chest delts and a little bit of triceps at the end. And here me and my buddy Connor were having a little conversation about pre-workout supplements and whether or not we think they're effective and do they really work. And obviously, you know, some of them do work. They have proper dosages of effective ingredients, but other times it's just placebo because there are so many underdosed pieces of garbage supplements out there that have these complexes and matrices and proprietary blends that really don't contain any effective ingredients but when you take them, you feel stronger in the gym. And I might do a video on the power of placebo, but I digress just for a second to talk about the cinematic value that I'm adding to the videos, as you can see here. <laughs> We're going a little bit max tuning on this one, but honestly, I'm really trying to just make the quality of the videos better, but also a bit more entertaining. So you'll notice a whole bunch of different camera angles throughout this video, and I have fun doing that. And maybe that's another thing that placebo has to do with it, having the camera on me when I'm lifting. Now you saw that last set or that last rep there was grindy. So I threw on some wrist straps and you'll see these three reps go up very fast. Now, was that placebo because I was wearing the wrist straps, I felt more secure and I was able to lift easier? Or was it just more rest time that I had and it was a better set? So that's why I really wanna talk about the psychology and placebo behind weight training. So that will be for a separate video, but let's talk more about this video. What the hell am I doing here? in the middle of my bench press sets. <laughs> Essentially, what I'm going for is chest activation exercises. So one of the functions of the pecs is to actually bring your arm across the midline of your body, also known as horizontal adduction. So I'm trying to get my pecs to fire, and this is a problem that some people face when doing certain exercises. They don't feel the muscle actually working. So one of the most common questions I get is, how come when I bench press, I feel it in my shoulders and I don't feel it in my chest? or I feel it in my triceps, and a lot of times it does have to do with form. So a simple form adjustment can make a huge difference, but other times it has to do with not having that mind to muscle connection, which might sound bro in some cases, but it's real. And I think it's also important to note that there is no one size fits all approach. So of course there's proper form and improper form, but everyone will do things differently. And this has to do with their limb lengths, their leverages, so not every person will bench press and deadlift and squat exactly the same, and that's completely fine. But there are certain things that I'm sure a lot of us can agree with, like CrossFit is dangerous. <laughs> but, no, I'm just kidding, but for real, like let's say on a bench press, you wanna keep those shoulder blades retracted, keep that scapula down and back, and not flare out those elbows too much. I think that's something that we can all agree on, but there are some people out there who need a wider grip, who need a more narrow grip, who have a bigger arch in their lower back, and these are all things that will contribute to how you perform the lift. And I think that's something that's oftentimes overlooked because when we go into the gym, there's one thing a lot of us focus on, and that's progressive overload or progressive tension overload. We want to get stronger every single workout. We wanna to continue to add weight to the bar, and that's, unfortunately not possible every single time we step into the gym. So focusing on the little things can go a long way, like muscle activation techniques. And that's something that, you know, I'm not going into science or anything. It's maybe it's bro or whatever it is, but it's something that I've been working on and just little warm up things to feel a muscle work. Take for example, like this, the lateral raise. A lot of times people's side delt doesn't really get too fatigued and maybe they're just pulling the weight too far in front of them or too far behind them. Or you see it oftentimes with a lat pull down, they won't feel it in their lats and they'll feel it in their biceps. So I think little tweaks to your training and just going light and understanding the function of the muscle goes a long way. So hopefully that helps you out a little bit. If you guys are more interested on the sciencey side of things like that, or you want me to talk maybe a little bit about uh, muscle activation and whatnot in future videos, just leave a comment down below and let me know. But I'm gonna end the commentary off here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And thanks as always for the constant support. If you're looking for an online coach, the website is www.fusarofitness.com in the description box of every video. So thanks again, guys. We'll catch you in the next video and enjoy the rest of this one. What's going on, guys? We're heading to the mall right now. We actually have to look for some birthday gifts. We got a lot of birthdays coming up. We got yeah. 
We got Brittany's mom's, my future mother-in-law's birthday, so we gotta get a gift for her. We got my dad's birthday coming up next week. We got her brother's birthday. Nah, that's actually like a month away, which mine's a little over a month away as well, but a lot of birthdays in the next couple of months coming up. So we figured we'd walk around the mall for a little bit and also check out the new iPhones. I know in before the iPhone 6 bends in half and Android's better and Mac sucks. That's not gonna change our minds. <laughs> Still looking at the iPhone, but we're looking to get Brittany onto Verizon. She's with AT&T right now, so she can come onto my bill and we could both upgrade our phone. So the only thing I wanted to see was how big the iPhone 6 Plus really is. A lot of people were saying it's just too big for a phone. And I don't know, I just think it would be cool to have. So we'll see it in person and see how it is. Although most stores are probably sold out anyway. But that's that. And I figured I would acknowledge real quick. A lot of people ask me in many of my videos, dude, do you even sleep or do you just get punched in the face every single day? Because it looks like I consistently have black eyes. And to be 100% honest, I don't know the specific cause of that. Some days it looks way worse than others. And I'm sure sleep has a little bit to do with it. So you can see it looks like it's really black under here. But the other things are genetics. I have, This is my cheekbone. So I have really high cheekbones. And it looks like my eyes are kind of sunken back a little bit. And as far as like the black or the dark blue under there... It's also because I have really thin skin under my eyes. So the veins under here are at the surface of the skin. So that pretty much explains why that's like that. Obviously, I don't get enough sleep. I've mentioned that many times before. But some days it looks worse than others. Some days it's not even that noticeable. Other days it looks like CT Fletcher threw a dumbbell at my eye. So that's the answer for that. A lot of people ask why. But anyway, heading to the mall. Sorry about that rant, but I figured I would clear it up. And we'll see you guys in a little bit. Feels like that. Not that bad in my hand, but put it up to your face. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna make a little buffalo chicken wrap and a side salad here. So I'll just show you what it looks like when it's all done. All right, so we got the salad made here. Got some spinach mixed with some iceberg. These croutons, this brand, the garlic and butter are definitely the best ones, but. These come in a close second. So we got that, some tomatoes, diced up chicken and celery, hot buffalo. This is the dressing I'll be using on the salad. Awesome macros on it, so focus. Three and a half fat, one carb, one protein, only 40 calories. And this brand has really, really good salad dressings and this is one of my new favorites. So we got that for the salad right there. And then this for the wrap. All right, so we're going to add the chicken to the pan and then just toss it in buffalo sauce to warm it up a little bit. Just kidding but we're probably gonna head off to bed now had a really busy day and we have to get up really early in the morning so that's about it i'm gonna catch up on some emails while she's sleeping and we'll catch up with you guys tomorrow so thanks as always for the support everyone and we'll see you all in the next video